Did you know that in some countries there is so much air pollution that people have to wear masks? Dirt and other harmful things in the air such as CO2 can make us very sick. When fossil fuels are burned, it creates air pollution. Transportation is causing too much air pollution. People are dying because of air pollution. Airplanes are causing too much air pollution. More than 6,000 Canadians die every year from smog. We should care because if there is a lot of air pollution, it can make it hard for us to breathe and we can get sick and sometimes we can die. Imagine a world full of garbage. Everyday people are throwing away materials they don't want, need, or use anymore. Get rid of the garbage and waste by putting it in garbage bins or throwing it on the ground. Watering or filling up our environment with trash. When we buy items today, we have more packaging, and more packaging means more garbage. The material, materials we use to package takes a long time to break down and decompose. According to the American Forest and Paper Association, it takes more than one million years for styrofoam to decompose. And for one plastic bag, it takes 20 years for it to decompose. In Canada, one person per year makes 1,411 pounds and 140 kilograms. It takes about 30 to 50 years to fill one landfill. In one person's garbage can, most of the stuff can be recycled or reused. Imagine walking on a beach. And the view of the water is greasy, dirty, and black. This is a reality of an oil spill. An oil spill is a type of pollution. It happens when oil gets into the water or land. Boats carrying oil cross the ocean, for example, on the east coast of Canada. Over 1,000 boats transport over 50 billion liters of oil. Oil can leak out or accidents can happen leading to oil spills. Only 15% out of 100% of an oil spill can be cleaned up. It takes 20 to 25 years for an oil spill to be cleaned up. The oceans are all connected, so when one oil spill happens, it'll spread into the other oceans too. We really depend on the ocean because half of the animals in the world live in the ocean. That's why we need to stop oil spills. What would the world be like if there were no forest valleys, green spaces, or open countryside? Urban sprawl is when cities grow and use up more green spaces or open areas, such as farmland and forests. People are living longer because of medication and other technologies. More houses are being built, which means we are taking up more space. More space means less farmland and soil to grow food and other things we need, such as medication. If we keep growing, we will invade animals' homes and forests. Which means there will be no trees. If there's no trees, then we won't be able to breathe, and animal homes, food, and plants will all be gone. Also, all of our soil and land will be gone. Food will become a lot more expensive because people have to drive further out to get it. Soon, food will become possibly unavailable. Water is our life. If we did not have water, we would die. Water pollution is when clean water gets polluted from garbage, waste, and other materials. People throw waste materials directly into water bodies. Examples, cars, motorcycles, plastic bottles, cigarettes, etc. 
There are about 7 billion people in the world, and more than 1.1 billion people in the world today don't have access to clean drinking water. Our important resources are vanishing. We are wasting trees, water, rocks, minerals, soil, and energy. We have to do something about this. Resource depletion means that we are wasting and using too many important resources that we need and are running out of. Some resources are renewable, such as trees. But if you cut too many down at a time, then we won't have as many because they take a long time to grow. Other resources are non-renewable. This means they can't be used again, like coal. Once you burn it, there is nothing left. We use trees for almost 8,000 different products. Wood is used in most people's lives. Since 1970, the world lost 30% spaces and resources because of forest destruction. Because people have long showers, flush the toilet, and water their lawns, they use 1.2 million gallons of water. That fills four Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's bad! We should care because, in the future, we won't have as many usable resources. This means it will be harder to survive without the resources we need. We can be the change!